Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on empirical research. Now let's start with what is empirical research? Empirical research uses direct and indirect observation or experience to come to a conclusion about something. In other words, it uses evidence that is empirical. Empirical here means what has been experienced or perceived directly. The evidence can be quantified or qualified. Much analysis of the evidence can be done quantitatively or qualitatively. A researcher should find solutions to empirical questions. Only then can the evidence be quantified or made sense of in a qualitative form. Empirical questions must resolve with the gathered data. Moreover, they have to be well defined. Moving on to the origin of the term. The term empirical comes from ancient Greece. Some medical practitioners of the day were called by that term. They were those who could only accept what could be perceived and experienced. They rebelled against blindly sticking to closely held beliefs of the time. Later on, empiricism evolved as a philosophy of knowledge. Its idea was that knowledge comes from only what is experienced by the senses. Thus, it is a true form of evidence. The term is also used in science. It denoted the data collected only by systematic pieces of equipment or perceived by the senses. Moving on to the empirical research cycle. A.D. Groot's model of empirical cycle. These entails five stages. First, observation. This involves perceiving something and investigating why it happens. Next, induction. This means coming up with a hypothesis. The hypothesis is the believed cause of the event or phenomenon. Next, deduction. This is when experiments are constructed to find if the hypothesis is correct or wrong. Then comes testing. This is when the test takes place and the information is gathered. And finally, evaluation. At this stage, data is analyzed. A theory is formed. A theory argues that the observation of an experiment explains why the phenomenon being studied happens. Moving on to the advantages of empirical research. First, its internal validity is greatly improved. Next, there are many variables in any research that are beyond the researcher's control. The empirical approach allows them to have control over more variables. People conducting the test can alter the approach during the study. They can understand the developments that might arise through its course. Next, observations from empirical studies are more reliable. Moreover, it dramatically improves the study. And finally, it can be used to revalidate research that already exists. Moving on to the disadvantages of empirical research. First, multiple sources of information mean that data gathering can be complex. Therefore, the method to gather this data might have to be changed according to the source. Laws and restrictions also regulate research. This means permissions have to be applied for and granted. Next, it needs other sources as well, such as money. Researches might need to be conducted in many places in different surroundings. And finally, empirical research requires gathering a lot of information. There are many variables to consider along with multiple sources of information. All this takes a lot of time and patience. Moving on to the types and methodologies of empirical research. Well, broadly there are two. Quantitative research. Quantitative research means the observations are recorded with the help of numbers. Numerical data is collected to measure and compute behaviors, opinions or other defined variables. Surveys, longitudinal studies, polls and other types of studies are commonly used to gather quantitative data. Next, qualitative research. Qualitative research collects information that numbers cannot represent. It can be used to study opinions or causes of some phenomenon. It can be used to understand the meaning of things. Studies done with this approach do not follow a strict structure. Focus groups, experiments, interviews, etc. are various approaches to this method. Moving on to the characteristics of empirical research. First, framework. There are four steps to any empirical research. These are the introduction, methodology, findings and discussions. The introduction gives a background of the research. The methodology lays out how it was carried out. It has to mention the equipment, the framework of the test and the process involved. The findings are the results and the discussion must mention why the research is needed and crucial. Moving on to the next, research methodology. There has to be a thorough description of how a study is to be conducted. It must stick to a strict system where the steps and methods are well defined. This means the basis for choosing a sample must be clearly laid out. In addition, there has to be a thorough description of the research approach. The research can be qualitative or quantitative as discussed earlier. The equipment needed must be made clear. Next, variables. Research variables must be strictly defined. They are determined by behaviors, features, categories and population. The gathered information has to be defined according to the nature of the research. It must be delimited. Next, empirical questions. The questions in empirical research have to be related to the phenomenon that is being studied. They must be connected to the explanation the research is trying to find out. Thus, these queries are at times closely related to the hypothesis. 
The questions has to be asked before a study can start. These are queries that researchers use to navigate during the study. Finally, uses of empirical research. Empirical research can be found in the fields of anthropology, law and medicines. Let's look at law. Empirical research studies how various aspects of law work and the impact they have. The sources of information have to be direct. This means finding out of these studies tend to be more robust. The things studied include law enforcement, procedures, rules and organizations. Next, empirical research in anthropology. Anthropology is a study of human culture and patterns of behavior. Empirical studies will depend on rigorous evidence to study these things. It helps to expand our understanding of how these things and confirm what we already know. And finally, empirical research in medicine. Assumptions about medical practices can be confirmed or debunked to research. It betters our understanding of the field. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the topic on empirical research. These are the list of sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.